Hi guys and welcome to this video. In this one, we are going to be building a program that automatically summarizes an audio file. Now, it doesn't have to be just any audio file. It can be a podcast, a talk, a YouTube video, or anything that has to do with an audio file. So, we are going to be using a tool called Assembly AI to do this. So Assembly AI is a public API which automatically allows you to translate speech to text. Now it does more than just translating speech to text and I'm going to show you one of the features which it does in this video. So to get started, you need to make sure that you head over to assemblyai.com, sign up for an account. Once you have an account, you're going to have a dashboard like this. Once you have this, at the right corner, you're going to see where it says your API key. Just copy that API key by clicking on it. And once you have that done, we are good to go with this tutorial. The first thing we want to have is the link to the audio file. And let's say you want to summarize like a YouTube video or something. You just need to have the link to the audio file of that YouTube video or podcast. Just need to have the link to the audio file or any audio file in general, any MP3 file. You can easily summarize that. So I already have my link right here. What I just need to do after having the link is to make sure that I have my API key. So as I said, we're going to be using assembly AI for this. So you need to make sure that you've created an account and once you create an account in the dashboard right at this corner, you're going to see your API key. So all you just need to do is to click on it and it's going to be copied. So once you have that, you can come into Visual Studio or whatever editor you're using and just paste it in there. So what I did was that I created a credentials.py file and in that file, I just stored my API key in there and then I imported the file and just stored that API key in a variable named API key. So right now I have my API key stored. So now that I have my API key and the link to the audio file, what I just need to do first of all is to have a variable named transcript underscore endpoint. So this transcript endpoint is the endpoint in which we are going to be posting our request to. So what we just need to do is to say HTTPS. So we're basically defining the URL and this has to be in small caps, small letters. Say api.assembly ai.com slash v2 slash transcript. So now that we have this, what we just need to do now is to have a new variable and let's name it response. So in this response, we're going to be posting a request to this endpoint. And for us to use request, we need to make sure that we have requests imported. So if you don't have that, first make sure you install it by typing pip install requests and then you can import requests using this. So now we can just say request dot post. So basically you want to post to transcript endpoint and what we are posting, let's define the headers of what we're posting. So say headers equals to, and this is going to be like a dictionary. So we're going to say authorization. So once we've defined authorization, what we just need to do is to give that our API key, which is ready here. So we say API underscore key. Now that we have this, the next thing we need to define is the content type. So we can say content type. And that will be application slash JSON. Now we are going to have to send the URL of the audio file into it. And then we're also going to tell it to return auto chapters. So what we need to do is to have a new variable named JSON. So this JSON is going to have audio URL.
and in this audio URL, I'm just going to put this URL we have here. Paste that in there. And then we're also going to have to set auto chapters. As true. So this, we are, if this isn't there, it's not going to provide, like it's not going to generate auto chapters for this particular audio file. But since we set it as true, when we run it, you are going to see that it's going to generate auto chapters for this. So now that we have that, let's just add a comma here. And since we have this done right now, what we can just say is response equals to response the JSON. So what we're just doing, we are converting this into JSON. And once we have this, the next thing that we want to do is to print the response out. So once we print the response out, so let's make sure that this is response underscore JSON and not the same as this initial one. So once we have the response, what we can just do is to print it out. But let's print it out by using pretty print. So it shows us like, you know, well-organized format. So to do this, we just need to import pretty print. So once we have this imported, we can just say print pretty print. That's pretty print response JSON. So now that we have all of this working, our application should work in the first trial. So let's just go ahead and run this. And let's make this slightly bigger. So as you can see, it gives us a response. Once I run this file app.py, we have all of this. In with, with this is what we need. So we're going to have to, what we did right now, we posted this audio URL into assembly AI's API and we got a response. So out of all of these that we got, what we really need is this ID right here. So with this ID, we can use it to get the response or the result we need, like the summarization or the summary of that audio file, auto chapters that generated for that audio file and so on. So let's make sure we copy this particular ID because that's the ID for this particular request. And then once we have that, we can, first of all, let's bring this down back. And what we can just do is to comment that ID and just keep it there. So now that we know we have that ID secured there, we can close this terminal. So what we can do now is just to get the response or get the result from this request. Because what we just did was posting this audio file and you know what we want to generate from it. So now that we've posted that and everything should be done on assembly AI, we want to get the result. So for us to do this, what we just need to do first of all is to come into transcript endpoint. I need to add slash and then this ID that we copied, we need to paste it right in there. So now once we have that pasted, what we just need to do right here where we have request the post, we need to change this to get because now I want to get a response and we're going to leave transcript endpoint right there. We don't need JSON again. And we also do not need the content type. So what we just need is the endpoint and the API key for authorization, obviously. And now that we have this, we can still use the same variable and say response JSON equals response to JSON. And then we can pretty print the result. Now let's see what it gives us. Let's save this and then let's run it again. So if I scroll up now, this is going to be a long response. So I try to zoom that in. If I scroll up, let's zoom it out a little bit. What you can see is that it gives me all the details I need to know about this particular file. So audio duration, as I said in the beginning of this video, is 12 seconds. It shows that it's 12 seconds. It shows the URL. So we already had that before, but as you can see, if you come down here, you first see that it says auto chapters equals to true. That means generated chapters for this. 
So right here in chapters, you can see that it basically gives us the gist of what is going on in this like audio or in this particular chapter and it says demons on TV. Earlier in this video, I also said that in this 12 seconds audio file, what is being talked about are demons. So basically it says demons on TV, it brings generates headlines for that particular you know, chapter or that particular audio file and then it also summarizes it so it gives a quick summary of what is being said in that particular audio file which is very good it's a very great tool you can use and it also gives you a bunch of other details like the confidence of this prediction or you know generation and the id which you already have the language code which is english the model being used which is obviously the assembly ai the status which is completed it also gives us you know the text that is uh, like it translates the text the audio file into text and just put it in this particular variable and then it gives us a lot of other information like it breaks down each particular word in the text that has been generated and tells us the confidence of the prediction so for the first word which is you it says the confidence is 0 0.9 and so on so it does that for every single word which is very very effective now this is the basic application we built now this is just the basic concept of how to use the summarization and auto chapters feature in assembly ai with this you can you know take it more further and build whatever you want like a web app that summarizes a podcast or a youtube video or a ted talk or something like that and you can ask the user to just input a video or input a link and it generates it. It depends on whatever you want to do. But this is the basic concept of how to take an audio file and generate summary for that audio file. Now, I hope you understood what has been said in this video. And once again, before we can even have access to any of this, you need to make sure that you go to assemblyai.com. The link is going to be in the description below and get your API key. So this is very important because we are using this tool, so we need to have our API key. And before you have your API key, you need to have an account. But make sure you have all this ready, then you can follow up with the tutorial. And that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you understood what is being said in this video. If you did, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in another one. Thanks.